Welcome back, everyone, to episode number three in season two of our Let's Play series of Industry Manager Future Technologies. Now, we've gotten a fresh start, and we got, we've gotten going pretty good on profit. We're at 124, 125,000 per day. And in our most recent video, we got our second product up and running, the tetanus vaccine. And we even got um, our supply to meet the available demand. But there was one thing I forgot to do. Now, in these others, we're using 24 out of, or excuse me, 25 out of 25 workers and no idle workers. So if I continue to look around through the others, that is the case. However, because we lowered our production, we still have all of these workers and they're just sitting around idle. So we need to get rid of those workers. We don't have any need for them right now. So let's go ahead and get rid of them. That will lower our salary and thus lower our cost. So that frees up 13 workers that we can make some other sort of vaccine or whatever at this particular factory. Okay, so let's take a look at our research and we have no research going right now. Uh, let's take a quick glance and see what we need to start research on. If we come in, select biotech and let's see, let's open up a few more of these. Looks like we need virus deactivation and virus coat replication. Okay, so with that in mind, let's come back in under there and there they are. So we got one and one. So that would open up those and get us a little further into uh, the tree there. Uh, and let's come across and see if we're missing anything else. We could go ahead and open these up. Uh, let's see, the warehouse. There, we're good on workforce here. All right, we have not upgraded the workforce into oil well, which we'll be using here shortly. We're good on the farm. Same thing on animal ranch. Oh, we got one more there. We might as well finish that off for the refinery. And we're good in the chemical factory. Okay, so now we can come back to here. And we're good on the workforce everywhere, it looks like, except here in the oil well. But before we do that, I want to research sector costs because very quickly we're going to need to purchase a new sector. Okay, so we might as well go ahead and get that research going. All right, let's go ahead and speed up time so we can get things going as quickly as possible anyway. All right, so let's see what we need to make smallpox vaccines. Well, we need red algae, which is made on a farm, and we need amino acid cell cultures that are made at the animal ranch. Well, we already have a farm and an animal ranch with plenty of work space still available. So let's go ahead and get that started. And we may be able, because I'm imagining there's going to be limited demand just like there was for the tetanus vaccine, I'm sure we're gonna have limited demand most likely for the smallpox vaccine as well. So we may be able to fit that into our existing uh, biotech factory. Hopefully that is the case. So let's see, red algae, and amino acid cell cultures. Okay, before we can do those in the farm and animal ranch, we need to know how many of them we need. All right, so we're gonna come in here. We've got plenty of space available. Let's choose our smallpox vaccine and see that we need 21 red algae and 34 amino acid. Okay, let's create that line and max it out. And that would be, well, right at 1200. Okay, let's go ahead and hire those workers. Now, I know we just got rid of those workers a few minutes ago, but I wanted to show that to you uh, because you need to keep an eye on the idle workers. I'm bad about not doing that. So that's just a reminder to myself. And then, of course, we need to set up some transport routes. But before we can do that, we need to actually produce these things. So at the farm, we're going to make red algae. So let's come in and find our red algae. Okay. Again, we're not messing with quality here. We're leaving it at the lowest quality, which gives us the lowest cost. And we need 21. So let's get that going. Confirm that. It takes a grand total of one worker for that. And we still have 29 workers left to expand. Okay. And with that in mind, we need to come over and do a transportation route to our warehouse. Okay. Now we come into our animal ranch. And what do we need to make here? We need to make amino acid cell cultures. There we go. 
So we'll put that down. And let's see, how many of these do we need? We need 34. Okay, so we confirm that, and we need one worker for that as well, leaving us 20 workers for further uh, expansion. Okay, now we need a production, or excuse me, a transport route. Let's take care of that. We're sending it all to that main warehouse for now. And now we're ready to come back in and set up the transportation routes for the new items that we need. We need red algae. And we need the cell cultures. Okay, so I believe that will take care of it. Yeah, there we go. So now we're making 1,200 of these. Let's come in to see. Yeah, there we go. Production is underway. So now we come over to the city. And it is time to open up a new shop. So finished goods. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. And just as I click off of that, they're shutting down our farm, looks like. So that's no good. All right. So what I forgot to do is I forgot to do our finished product. So in finished goods, there we go. Now we can come back over to our city and choose finished goods and our new vaccine. All right. There we go. 400 demand. If that looks familiar, it's half of what we had over here. So it's going down even more. That's not good for our profitability. We want to sell as many of these things as we can. So we've got one shop open, so I would imagine that the demand in the second and third cities will be the same or very close. Let's see what we get here. Yep, 400. And I'd imagine as we get over to the third city, it's going to be the same thing. All right, so that lets me know that we can make a grand total of, man, just six or excuse me, 1,200 of these I would hope we can make more, but the good news is, if you want to look for the good news is, that's how many we're making right now. What I had hoped is that we would need to build yet another facility and make even more of these that we could sell, but it doesn't look like that's to be. Okay, with that in mind, let's see, now that we're, of course, we're on fast forward, let's go ahead and make sure all of these are selling. All right, looks like, well, there sure is a lot of these. Oh, okay, we had gotten a head start on them by probably a few days, so we're already making several of these. Okay, looks like we're probably okay. We're selling about as many as we're making each day, it appears. We'll keep an eye on that going forward. Now, it does bring to light something that I do want to keep an eye on, and that is how many of these uh, various things that we have per day. You can see most of these we're not accumulating very much, if anything, on. But if we come over here, looks like the flu vaccine is hovering around zero each day. Some days it, you know, we get 86, and the next day we get negative. So here, you can see we've got a good amount. So I'm going to change these down because I don't want these. Let's go to, uh, let's go 2%. Okay, because I don't, I want, basically, I want production to stop. This is going to be my fail safe. I don't want to just continually produce these things when we don't need to produce any more of them. Okay, you see, right now we haven't accumulated enough to, to accumulate to even 1% volume, but I'm going to lower this to 2%. That way we can send a whole bunch of stuff into this warehouse and not have to worry too much about it. Okay, let's take a look at our research and you can see we are rolling right along on research. Uh, let's come into food and see if there's anything left. Not really. One thing here. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and queue up worker salary. We've got three spots left and let's go ahead and do all three of those for worker salary while we work on an additional sector. Uh, somewhere around. I'd like one of these three Let's see, 72. So the sector value you can see here is the same for all of these. So that won't be a determining factor, but let's take a look at something that will be a determining factor. And that is what we need to produce here. Now, if you go back up here and you remember, we needed inorganic chemicals for the tetanus vaccine. All right, as we continue to work our way down, you can see we need inorganic chemicals again. 
Now, I would be just fine with increasing the amount we get from the uh, global market per day, but I'm worried that that's not going to continue. We're not going to be able to continue increasing that uh, that quantity that we're getting from the global market. So we're going to need to start making these. And in a way, I really don't want to simply because if you take a look at the steps, now we made these in, in the previous uh, playthrough, but we need an oil well, a refinery, a mine, and then a chemical factory just to make this one thing that doesn't even fit really within the biotech industry. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get by it. I mean, here you're going to need chemical mixtures. And let's see if we get over into medicine. Okay, we're good here. We're good there. Inorganic chemicals comes up again. Chemical mixture. So we're going to need it sooner or later. And I'm worried that we're not going to be able to get enough from the global market. So if we come in and take a look at our messages, you can see we're not even able to get the full 16 day after day here. So we need to go ahead, unfortunately, and get started on that. Okay, let's see what will be next in line for us. Okay, so we're making uh, smallpox now. Okay, and so we're making that. Let's see what do we got. Okay, so now we've got a worker strike. So they're really trying to destroy us in this game. Okay, let's come back over real quick and see how our sales are going. And so far, it looks like pretty good. We're selling about what we're making each day. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, our, our margin here isn't quite what I would like. You can see here, it's nowhere near this margin. But, you know, we're, we're still at three to four times. So we're in the neighborhood, I guess. Um, I'm still a little sad because I was hoping that we could make you know, everything make as much money as that flu vaccine is making for us. Okay, so what's next on the agenda? So we're smallpox we're making. What do we need in order to make the hepatitis vaccine? Well, we need farm, farm, and an animal ranch. I like that because we're already doing that. Okay, and it looks like we're going to get interrupted here. And this is an opportunity for us to see how the AI are doing. Okay, we know we're doing we're doing well. We're fighting back, but their their balance is roughly in line with mine. Okay, their company value is higher than mine. I really like to see that. Revenue uh, is pretty much in line. They're a little bit low, but at the same time, the the red team is a little bit higher than me. So I like the the look of that. I'm a little bit worried when we get down to expenses. You can see 3.9 million in expenses for me, and for the same amount of revenue, roughly. Wow, they I mean better than like five times the expenses. Yikes. So they have a lot more buildings. And everybody is piling up on research and doing as much as you can with one research facility. And let's see, I have the most worker cost. And for some reason, the red team is the only one with any sector ownership that's showing up. Let's see, they're relying heavily on the global market, it looks like. Not sure if that's buying or selling. Okay, and they've got some loans outstanding. Okay, with that in mind, it looks like they're doing pretty good. Um, you know, they're ahead of me in some categories. I'm ahead of them in other categories. So we'll see how it all works out. But so far, I would say so good. All right, so we've got here our hepatitis vaccine. We need three ingredients that come from farms and animal ranches. So let's go ahead. Now, we're, we're at maximum capacity in all four of our existing facilities. So with that in mind, we need to build a new biotech factory. Now, we have – oh, I'm out of room. So I'm going to have just enough room to fit this last one in there, but then that's it. I don't see any way that I can even rotate this thing. You know, you've got this little triangle at the bottom that's messing me up. Let's see if I could do this. Yeah, we're still not going to have enough room. That is unfortunate. So I guess we'll be purchasing a new sector a little sooner than I thought. And now it runs a road right through the, my only hope of fit, fitting another building in here. So now we know we're going to have to buy a new sector. Okay, well, so be it. We'll let that build. And we know we're going to need two more items from the farm. 
and one more item from the ranch, but we don't know our quantities yet. So for that, we're going to have to wait just a moment and let this continue building. That gives us a chance to look at our research. Okay, only one more is done. Uh, the good news is our sector cost is about to be the minimum amount. This will be our final and third upgrade. And then we're going into worker salary. And we'll see. We may finish up research duration. So we're moving right along for sure. Okay, so we're off and running with our new biotech factory. We're going to upgrade our workforce. I don't know yet if we need either one of these upgrades. So let's find out. Okay, so we're at hepatitis is what we're going to build now. All right, so we need 28 of the bacteria, 7 of the green algae, and then 12 of the amino acids. Now, we're already making some amino acids, so we'll just need to increase production there. And how many can we make? Okay, we can make 2,000 per day. That would maximize our workers, 25 workers. Yep, that would take care of that. All right, let's go ahead and set up our first transportation route. Get that out of the way. Uh, in fact, we can actually set up the second one as well because we're already making some of these. We'll just need to increase the amounts. Okay, with that in mind, let's come in and let's see. Let's slow things down a little bit. Okay, so bacteria here at the farm. We're already making that. So what we need to do is increase our quantity. We're only making seven right now, so we're not making very many at all. And to that, we need to add how many? Looks like 28 is how many we needed. So that gives us 35 here. Okay. And what's next? Next, we need green algae, which we are not already making. And there's our green algae. We'll create that. And how many do we need here? We need seven. So not many at all. Okay, do we need to hire a worker? So it's only one additional worker. And so we're only using eight out of 35. Plenty of room still to grow here. Now for our new product, I need to add a production line, or excuse me, transportation line. Okay, that takes care of that. And now we come over here, and let's see, amino acid. All right, so right now we are making 34 of these. And how many more do we need? We needed 12. That gives us 46 that we need. Okay, and no transportation routes needed. We've already got that taken care of. And for our new building, let's see. Now we need to set up two more transportation routes so we can get the new items. Okay, get this from the warehouse. And there's your green algae. And then the bacteria, I believe, are the last thing we need. Where are they at? There they are. No, sorry, there they are. Look very similar. It almost chose the wrong one. Okay, so now we have the amounts we need. Let's check to see. Production has already begun. And hopefully, we'll be able to sell all 2,000 of these per day. Let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit. Um, and I want to come in here and let's see. Let's see what we've got. All right, we got 2%, 2%, 2%. And let's go ahead and lower this to 2% as well while I'm thinking about it. Okay, come back in here. Time to set up a new shop. And finished goods. And what's our demand? Only 400. So we're going to need to reduce production here pretty quick. Man, I sure hate to see that. That is unfortunate because... Now it means that we're producing too many and we won't be able to efficiently sell these. Okay, so now we've got 400 demand for this product in each. Okay, so that's 1,200 total. So let's come back over and change this to 1,200. All right, now what that means is if we come into our warehouse the other warehouse that we're going to have plenty of extra. You can see we've got some extra here in each of these, but we're we're setting a max of 2%, so we shouldn't be filling up the storage space anytime soon here. Okay, so now where does that get us? Well, let's take a pause for a moment and come back over. 
Now we've added two new products that has fairly low demand considering the low price point. Okay, you can see here we're just at roughly double our cost here on the markup, nowhere near what the flu vaccine is. So we're not making all that much money. It seems like our profit potential gets worse the farther we get into our production line for biotech. That's not a good sign because our pricing, you know, we're only selling these for $15 and we're only selling 1,200 of them. So there's not that much profit potential to be had here. And that can be seen very clearly in our profit per day. We're up, we're not even quite to 150 just yet. So we haven't gained that much since the beginning of the video. And that's unfortunate. And then of course we keep getting global news reports like this that shut down our farm, animal ranch, biotech, you name it. It's shutting them all down. Uh, luckily for us, it's only for a short period of time. Now, once again, we see we're not able to buy even a small number of 16 per day of inorganic chemicals. So what we're going to do is we're going to end the video here, and then we'll come back next time, and we'll get even deeper into the production chain, and we'll start to work with oil and eventually get our way up to the inorganic chemicals. I really appreciate you joining me. I appreciate your support, not only on this series, but a huge thank you for your support on all the series on the channel. It has not gone unnoticed, and I do want to say a big thank you for that. And stay tuned for more Industry Manager Future Technologies.